During the last seven years, our expert alpinists have personally tested 15 of the best mountaineering boots, and recently bought seven of this year's top models for our latest side-by-side -side analysis. From ice climbs in Ure, Colorado to mixed rock and ice routes in Patagonia, to classic alpine climbs in Utah and the Sierra Nevada, we put these boots through their paces in the same diverse terrain and conditions that you're likely to endure. Whether you plan on climbing rock, ice, snow, or a mix of it all, we'll help you find the best mountaineering boots to help you send your next big objective. The first product on our list is Scarpa Phantom Tech. Supergator boots have begun to dominate the mountaineering boot category, and the Scarpa Phantom Tech is an excellent example of why that is. This boot will keep your feet warm and dry for pretty much any weather that the lower 48 states can throw at you. Most impressively, it will do that for only 1.5 ounces, 40 grams, more than the lightest boot in our test. They also climb well, especially on steep ice. While the lace lock allows for great tensioning in the forefoot of the boot, it can be a bit confusing to use at first. We haven't had any durability issues with our pair of Phantom Techs in the time we've been testing them, but we have heard reports from other climbers of the zipper teeth disengaging after closure, though apparently, this is always easily fixed. This is an excellent boot for anyone with winter mountaineering, ice climbing, or alpine adventures in mind. The second product on our list is La Sportiva Trango Tower Extreme GTX. Every boot in this review is good, and despite the fact that the Trango Tower Extreme is our lowest scoring model, it's still a great boot. They're incredibly light for a full shank boot, the ankle flexibility allows for exceptional performance on mixed terrain, climbing rock without crampons, and hiking. It features a solid lacing system that even a toddler could figure out. While it's warm enough for most winter days, it is a little thin on the coldest days or for mountaineers with chronically cold feet. The low cuff means that water could slosh in the top of the boot during shallow stream crossings. This is a great boot for winter climbers with warm feet on light and fast missions, or for climbers who need a technical boot for spring, summer, and fall routes. The next product is Arcteryx Acrux R. There is a lot of category-bending innovation happening with mountain boots these days and climbers are the biggest beneficiaries. In the past, mountaineers on overnight trips, especially in winter, have not had a great option when it came to drying their boots out overnight. With the Acrux our mountaineers get a warm, waterproof boot with a removable inner boot. This means that on overnight trips you can bring the inner boot into your sleeping bag to dry it out. You get this benefit without the bulky, clunky package of a 6,000-meter boot. Many of our heavier testers found the sole to be a bit less than rigid for steep front pointing. Other testers had no issues, but climbers with weaker calves should be aware of this potential pitfall, these boots are also not cheap. However, for alpine climbers and mountaineers who spend a good chunk of time out overnight, this boot is a perfect tool. Thanks for watching and hope you liked it. As always, all the links about the products will be in the description below, so if you want to find the best prices, and more information that we might not get a chance to mention in the video, be sure to check them out.